Okay, so thank you for watching our next YouTube video. This one's a crash course on learning a whole bunch of chords in a short amount of time. So the first thing, you know, I kind of assume that you know how to play a little bit of piano. <clears throat> first chord is a C major, which is C, E, G. And the first thing you really need to learn is all the chords, all the major triads in the C scale. You should know the C scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And here's the order of triads in the C scale. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, major. So what that means is when I'm playing the C major scale in any scale, doesn't matter what scale you're playing, that's the order of, of triads. So again, C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, and C major. So remember the two outsides are major, major, major. The two middle are also major, F major and G major. So these are major, and these are major, and then the remaining ones are minor. So D minor, E minor, A minor, except for the B, which is diminished. Why is it B diminished? Well, B is diminished because every chord name is based on the root note. So for example, if I'm playing a C major, the chord name is based on the C on the C scale. So in the key of C, we have the C, E, and G. They're all, they're all white notes, they're all where they should be. <clears throat> so this is called a major chord. If, for example, this was here, that'd be a minor. So, with a B, if you know how to play a B major scale, then you'll see a whole bunch of black notes. In a B major scale, the B is a B, this note is a D sharp, this note's an F sharp. Unfortunately, none of those two notes are in the key of C. So in order for this to be in the key of C, a try in the key of C, this has to be lowered and this has to be lowered. So both the third degree and the fifth degree of the scale are higher than they would naturally be in the key of C. So, <clears throat> C major. To turn any chord from a major to a minor, you take the middle note and you lower it. So here's C major. And you take the middle note, the third, one, two, three, and lower it down one semitone. Here's a C minor, okay? So if I want to now, the next one, which is a D minor, I want to make this a D major, I just take the middle note, move it up one semitone. There's a D major. E minor, take my middle note, E major. F major, F minor, G major, G minor, A minor, a major, B diminished, B major. Now if I want to make this B major, B minor, I can move the middle note down, D minor, and then C major. When you're doing any chords, you can play them any order you want. They're called different inversions. So I don't have to play C, E, G. I can play G, sorry, E, G, C, or G, C, E. And they're all continually named the C major chord. C major chord, C major chord, I can do whatever I want with my left hand, my right hand, as long as I play at least one C, one E, and one G, I can play as many of them as I want. I can play them in any order, and it's still called a C major chord. So the best thing is to try experimenting with lots of different inversions. It's usually best if you have the lowest note being the C. <clears throat> Other triads with three note chords you can make. So we talked about moving the middle note down to make a minor. If you move the middle note down and you move this note down, the fifth, you have the diminished. So this is a C major, this is a C diminished. So if this is a D minor, I don't have to move the middle note down because it's already down. It's already a minor. Now I take the fifth note and move it down. Now I have my D diminished. E minor, E diminished. F major, F minor, F diminished. G major, G minor, G diminished. A minor, A diminished, B diminished. C major, C minor, C diminished. If I take my fifth note and move it up one semitone and, and stay on the major, I have what's called an augmented. So C, E, G sharp is my C augmented. D 
minor, D major, D augmented. So I take my major chord, move my fifth degree up one semitone. Okay. <clears throat> e minor, E major, E augmented. F major, F augmented, G major, G augmented, A minor, A major, A augmented. B diminished, B minor, B major, B augmented, C major, C augmented. Other chords we can make with triads, we can move the third around. So we've made a minor here. If we take the third and move it up, it's called a C suspended four, or C sus four. I can take the third and move it down to a two, and it's called a C sus two. So here's a C. C sus, C sus two, and C major, okay? With a minor, I can also convert that into suspended chord. So here's a D minor, D suspended, D suspended two, and D minor. D major, but see, it's the same chords. D sus four, D sus two, D major, okay? E minor, E sus four, right? E sus two, E minor, <clears throat> F major, S, F sus four, F sus two, F major, G major, G sus four, G sus two, G major, A minor, A sus four, A sus two, A minor, okay, B diminished, B major. B sus four, B sus two, B major, and then back to the C major. As soon as we start adding a fourth note, and as long as it's going still up in thirds, they're called tetrads. So here's my C major chord. I can make my C, it's called a C major seven, by adding my pinky or adding the B, which is another third above. So here's our first, one, three, five, seven. It's called a C major seven. This can also be found by looking at the lower C and playing one semitone down. And we can use that note. We can play it with our left hand if we wanted to. Here's a C, here's C, C major seven, or E and G, there's a C major seven chord. We can add more if we want. Anyways, the easiest way to find it is to play C major and add one semitone down from the octave above. So there's your C major seven. Now, if, what I, if, if I take the C major seven and take the seven, the B, and lower it in another semitone, I have a C seven, or also known as a C dominant seven. Here's our C major seven, here's our C seven. If I take my C seven and make my C major a minor, so here's my C major, here's my C minor, here's my C minor seven. Okay, so C major seven, C seven, C minor seven. One more time. C major seven, C seven, C minor seven. The order of tetrads or seven chords in a major scale goes major seven, minor seven, minor seven, major seven, seven, is a dominant seven, minor seven, minor seven flat five, and major seven. C major seven, C seven, C minor seven, D major seven, D major with our major seven, D major seven, D dominant seven, D minor seven. Okay, here's our E. Here's our E major seven. E one semitone down. E major seven. E seven. E minor seven. F major seven. One, three, five, seven. F seven. F minor seven. G seven. Because this would be our G major seven. G major seven. G7, G minor 7, A minor, A major, right? 
A major 7, A7, A minor 7. Remember our B diminished, so here's our B major, here's our B major 7. B major 7, B7, B minor 7, and then back to the C major. With the 7s, there's other chords you can make as well. You can take our C minor, add our minor 7, and then turn our C minor to be C diminished. It's a nice sounding chord, but it's not called a C diminished 7. Even though this is a C diminished and this is a minor 7, it is actually called a C minor 7 flat 5. C small m 7 flat 5, C minor 7 flat 5, or C half diminished. In order to make this chord a C diminished 7, you need to take the 7 and lower it yet another semitone. So this would have a double flat 7. 1 flat 3 flat 5 double flat 7. There's your C diminished 7. And it's the same with any chord. So for example, E. E minor. E diminished, now my double flat 7, there's my E diminished. The last of the 7 chords we'll talk about is a minor chord with a major 7 interval. This is called a C minor major 7, interesting chord. So here's our D minor major 7. The D minor chord with a major 7 interval. E minor, major 7. These chords are kind of rare, but we are trying to learn just a whole bunch and kind of understand chords. <clears throat> Next thing we're going to do is add our 9. So, if this is 1, 3, 5, 7, well here's 9. Otherwise known as a 2. So what's really the difference between these chords? Well here's our C major 9 the major 9 because it has a major 7 interval. This chord, C, E, G, B, 9, C major 9, this is called a C9. There's another chord called a C add 9, which is where we're having C, D, E, G. The C add 9 is a C major chord adding a 9. Why do you call it that? Well, C sus 2 subtracts a 3. A C9 implies it has a 7 built in. So a C add 9 is C, D, E, G. Or C, E, G, D. There's our C add 9. And any chord can be like that. For example, like an F add 9 has F, G, A, C. There's our F add 9. If this was a C or an F9, then it would have the G, but it would also have the 7. And when I say 7, I typically mean the flat 7. I would have to say major 7 to imply the 7. So here's our F major 9. Here's our F 9. And then this is our F minor 9. So now, what would, you, what, would, what would you call it if you wanted an F minor 7 with a flat 9? Exactly that. F minor 7, flat 9. So, one more group of chords we will add, we will work with, is our 6. 1, 3, 5, 6. Here's our C6. All we're doing is adding a 6 in this case. 1, 3, 5, 6, C6. Six. D6. Six. And then if we want a minor 6, we just play the minor chord with a 6. The last thing we'll talk about here, and this is just going to give you a whole bunch more chords, but you got to think about them, is a piano symmetrical, music symmetrical. You know, there's 12 notes, and it's kind of like a circle. So if this is a C major, if I wanted a C sharp major, I would move everything up equally, one semitone. So here's a C 
C major, this is a C sharp major. The more practice you get with this, the easier it becomes. E major. And everything is moved up one semitone. So a C major, moving everything up one semitone. C sharp major, everything up one semitone. D major, D sharp major, E major, F major, F sharp major, G major, G sharp major, A major, A sharp or B flat major, B major, C major, and that works with any chord. C major seven. Okay, now you move everything up one semitone. C sharp major seven. Everything up one semitone. D major seven. Everything up one semitone again. D sharp major seven. D sharp major seven. Okay, well, how do we make this a minor seven? Well, we make it a minor. Move a third down one. And we move our D down one. So this knowledge, and I know I did it pretty quick, but if you, you know, rewind some spots and check it over, there's really a lot of information and there's a little bit amount of time. And with this, you can think about a whole bunch of different chords. So I hope that's all some good information. There's, there's a lot in there. You might have to rewind some and check some things over again. Um, but the whole point is to understand a bit about chord theory. And the more you understand about it, the more chords you're going to be able to play. The more you practice it, the more you're going to be able to do it. So go ahead and download some chord charts and maybe some jazz charts and see, see if you can figure a bunch of these chords out. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Thank you for watching our YouTube video. If you like this video, please take a moment and click like on the button below. If you like our teaching and want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll offer crash courses in guitar, piano, drums, vocals, and even computer production. Can you say that again? I can some okay. Yeah. We'll offer crash courses in guitar, piano, drums, vocals, and even computer production. Thank you and have an awesome day. Awesome day. <laughs> Promise me you press the like button. Thank okay. you. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> one more time. One more time. No, of the ending. That's... <laughs>